conversation on restoring uh, democratic rule in Niger. They re re repeatedly indicated that this is the final overture they are making to Niger if the country still refuses or, in their words, plays cat and mouse games with them, then they will have no option than to deploy. Amongst other things, they are asking for the release of the ousted president, Mohamed Bazoum, who they say is still under house arrest by the military junta. Now, you'd recall that um, when the chair of the political and um, peace council of the ECOWAS was speaking to the media uh, at the beginning of the meeting, he said that it looks as though the uh, junta is playing cat and mouse games with them, in giving indication that any time they, they say they want to dialogue or negotiate, they send a delegation and they are turned back or the door is slammed in their face. So after this meeting, the generals have concluded that if the final meeting from tomorrow is fruitful, then diplomacy wins, or diplomacy which has been on the table all this while is the way to go. However, if that fails, they have no option than to go. They talk about the commitment from the member states. They are ready, they've given their commitment in terms of personnel and accoutrement and logistics, which they say is all in readiness. They are doing this all alone as ECOWAS. If they get assistance from other democracy-loving nations and unions like the AU, they will accept it. But as it stands, they have everything in order and are waiting only on the orders of the heads of ECOWAS to say go and they will march out. So after nine hours of um, waiting, I mean, they started a meeting around 10 in the morning here at uh, the Burma camp base. And after about nine hours, they came out with these conclusions that everything is set. They are just waiting for the uh, officials to give them the go ahead and they will deploy their men. They are saying that as regards when exactly they will be deploying, they cannot tell because it's, a, it's an operational secret how many troops they will be sending that is also an operational secret they can't give that out but they are confident that with the commitment of member states everything is ready and they are just willing to roll out if the go ahead is given uh, on the back of that they talk uh, amongst other things uh, about how um, diploma they, they do not intend to go to war it is not an issue of wanting to go to war but they think that it is time for a line to be drawn somewhere to stop these recurring issues of coup within the ECOWAS sub-region. We are unable to tell specifically what else they will be doing beyond this. But they say after today's meeting, the final communique will be presented to the heads of uh, states and governments of ECOWAS. Then based on that, if a final order is given, they're the men, their men are ready, the generals are ready, and they will be rolling out. So they have the support of every member state. And that is what uh, is the conclusion of this meeting that has been on for two days now. The generals have just left the premises, heading back to their various countries. We have it on authority that uh, in the early part of next week, they will be meeting the leadership of uh, ECOWAS in terms of the, the political heads, I should say, and present to them their final uh, agreement or strategy if it is um, confirmed or accepted, then they go. Final point of note has to do with funding. How do they intend to fund this war? I asked that specific question about who or which country is giving them how much in terms of even troops and logistics and financing. They found a way to go around that question, but only said that they have the funding and they are ready to roll out. So from the Burma camp base here at um, Accra, my name is Martin Esiedudate. Thank you.